Again, Team Purple Panda. I'm here for another deck profile, actually, my second one. Uh, first things first, um, to everyone that has been watching or has watched my first deck profile on the Machina stun, the Slim stun, whatever you want to call it, thank you. I got a lot of positive feedback, and uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that you know people keep subscribing, keep loving what we're doing here, because I sure I enjoy it a lot. So uh, this is uh, I decided to name this deck Slim Fernity, <laughs> and basically what it, what it is is you know I go by Slim, and uh, it's Infernities, you guys, but it's not your normal Infernities. Um, if everyone remembers when Infernities first came out, they were explosive. They were unbelievable. You played Infernities, usually you were like, oh crap, I've lost because they could OTK at any time and you would lose. And I remember facing Infernities for the first time. I got my ass kicked, kicked, and it was over. But uh, I have discovered that a deck in the OCG uh, actually did top. An Infernity deck did finally top. It wasn't just Blackwing. It wasn't just Samurai. It wasn't just Debris. A Bla uh, Infernity topped. And I looked at it, and I thought to myself, huh, the deck's still playable. Now, why is it still playable? They run the, the Beetle build. We out here run the Avenger build for the 100 Eyes loop. But then I discovered you can still run the you can still run the Avenger loop and you can still run the Beetle loop and make it all into just one awesome Infernity deck. So I'm just gonna run through it with you guys and uh, hopefully explain why I run, why I run because it's a GG deck and I've been OTKing with it and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I mean, what's the number one part of this game is having fun and making money, of course, but fun's there too. So here we go. Triple Archfiend, standard. Triple Necromancer, standard. Triple Beetle, yes, Triple Beetle. They're back. Tribute one, get two. No cards in hand, it's ridiculous. Helps you set up for sixes, fives, eights, pretty much anything. So, so. And the number the number one is the nine. Mm -hmm. The nine is your play. The nine is your Miss Worm. And now, coming out very soon, Trishila. Now, I know Trishila out here, I believe, is to three because it's not been hit by our list yet. In the OCG, it's at one, so expect it to go to one. That's just obvious. But even at one, it is such a destructive force that it will make Infernities come back just, for, just by itself, just by being released. So, back to the rest. We have the Triple Beetle. Just explained why. One Avenger. Just one. And I have actually been able to set up plays where I've been able to still do the 100 eyes loop because everyone knows you only need one Avenger to pull it off as long as it isn't crowed. So it's, it's still pretty pro. Uh, Double Mirage, very standard, wonderful card. Combos, wonderful with, uh, what is it? Uh, 100 eyes dragon, wonder, wonderful combo. One Greffer, your pitcher. One Armageddon Knight, another pitcher. And one Stygian Street Patrol, SSP. Great card, totally broken with Archfiend, totally broken with... Damn near every card in this deck, especially Mirage, though. That's like the big basic play. So, yeah, so that's the monsters. I believe it's 15 monsters. Pretty standard to what Infernities are, about 14, 15. So, that's the monsters. Um, next, we have Double Book. Protection gets under uh, Trap Stun. Wonderful card. Protection, and it's just wonderful, especially next format. It's going to be boss as long as it stays at three. Uh, double MST. Back row destruction, obvious, to go off of the OTK. 6M. 6M. To hit the gateways, or to just, in general, whatever deck you're playing, clear the field so that you can go off. Clear the field so you can go off. Uh, one gun, launcher, whatever you want to call it, wonderful card. Would love it to come back to two. Probably won't, but just wonderful card, and it combos wonderfully with Archfiend, and it's how you set up for your OTK. This goes off, Archfiend goes off, you basically win. Um, one one for one obvious combo with Mirage combo very rarely with an Avenger with the one Avenger to pull out moves if you haven't normal summoned that turn uh, So it's pretty good uh, or not even normal summon, but a uh, special summon so it works depending on your hand situation uh, One reborn one dark hole staples obviously uh, One giant true nade. This is the card of all cards. I'm gonna give true nade. It's uh, it's homage right now it is it is one of the best cards out right now. Uh, any Debris player knows. Any uh, Six Sam player, next format will know. Any Infernity player already knows. True Nade is your game winner in Infernity. Cold Wave doesn't work in Infernity, but Cold Wave is also another one. So True Nade, one of the best cards out right now. Uh, Rhoda for the the two uh, uh, my two pitchers, uh, Armageddon and Greffer, works thins the deck. Uh, one Foolish. Set up your graveyard. Okay, so that's the, the spells. Very, very basic. Um, now we're on to the traps. Okay, uh, Infernities has become, recently has become, uh, 
a control-based deck. You do your 100 eyes loop, you set your barriers, your break, whatever it is uh, you set, and you win through that, through that control, through having control over your opponent's... Unbreakable field. Next couple... Unbreakable field, basically, yeah. so to speak, if that's what you want to call it. But uh, also, it works in an OTK build, and it's because it is backup for your OTK. If it does not go off, if... Fade, if Fader comes out, if Gores come out, and, you know, if you misplay, misplays happen, every player is misplayed. No one out there can say you haven't misplayed. It happens all the time. So, if you're in a conundrum, barrier, break, they're there, and they help. So, for that reason, triple Infernity Bearer. Triple Infernity Bearer. Wonderful card. Solemn, Divine Wrath in one. No pe no cost, just have, have something in attack mode. No cards in hand. That's not that hard with that deck. Uh... One of my personal favorite cards, I think, of the entire deck. Three, Infernity, Inferno. Grepheron Roids. Just Grepheron Roids. Uh, unbelievable card. Uh, any player can account that you've pulled out of slumps because of this card. You can have a crappy hand and turn it into a GG hand the next turn. Wonderful card. Uh, one Break. Break is amazing. I need to talk about Break a little bit. Um, break is... The way the way, only way I can explain it is it is... Uh, not so much a last-ditch effort, but something that just surprises your opponent. It being chainable is very handy, especially because, as it reads in the text, it doesn't require anything except the fact that you remove an Infernity card. So you can remove one of your multiple copies of Inferno uh, one, or, or Barrier or even Launcher, and it works, and it, it's wonderful. It gets rid of a pesky uh, monster or if that last back row. It gets rid of it, clears for your OTK. Uh... Something that was used in the old uh, FTK, but I've put back in because I think it's a wonderful card uh, for multiple reasons. Two Dust Tornado. Back row destruction, but not even so much back row destruction as its second effect. Its setting effect after you destroy something empties your hand, helps you possibly top deck that Archfiend for the special summon and the effect, or top deck that Mirage, and then the combos go off. Plus, like I said, back row destruction where it's needed always. Uh, Mirror, Torrential, Call, Solemn. Staples. The four big staples of almost any deck. People remember the cookie cutter format, they were the big four. I consider these are the big four these days. It used to be Ring and Mirror and Torrential and whatever else the other one was, I really don't remember actually, but these were the big ones. So, I keep these in here. Uh, one Solemn Warning. You guys, I finally got, I finally got my warnings, it's a little late uh, when I made my first profile, but I did finally pick up two warnings, but um, I throw one warning in here. Uh, for Gores, for Fader, for uh, whatever it is that could stop my OTK, if this sets up properly, it, it works wonderful. And uh, even with the 2,000 point life cost, life points aren't so much a matter uh, if your FTK will go off. So, great card. And, the OTK, yeah. OTK. And the final card, uh, Trap Dust Shoot. Trap Dust Shoot, this format, next format especially, is just broken. You, you, see, you see your opponent's hand, you could stop Samurais with it if they have only one and no sh uh, smoke screen. Or what, sig smoke, smoke signal, smoke signal yeah. that's what it was called. And uh, could stop the deck in its track. So, great card, and yeah, that's Slim Fernity. I only call it Slim Fernity because uh, I already told you guys, you know. I'm gonna go hey, Slim, bring out, uh, bring out um, Archfiend. Um, just bring out Archfiend, a Necromancer, and um, two Beetle for me. Okay. Beetle. Okay, so basically, why this build is a little bit different is this: um, in the old, in the new, uh, the current build, what you do is you uh, say so you go launcher and you bring out your archfiend, you bring out your necromancer, you use the necromancer to bring out your avenger, and then you go for a hundred eyes and you loop it. So essentially, what you end up with is you end up with you know um, one to two, maybe three monsters and like you know three barriers and a brick. Um, that's very powerful. However, like if that loop can be stopped easily, especially in like you know a debris plant um, era when you no know, comebacks are very often and very powerful. Um, so that's where you know the deck fails. However, this is actually the older version of it, the OTK one. So uh, what happens is you use you know you use your launcher to bring these two out, and you use this especially on the beetle, and normally. Um, they will book your beetle and then uh, i'm sorry they'll book your tuner and you have nowhere to go in this setup even they book the tuner you can tribute it and get two more beetles and now if you look at it what it just happens is it give you really easy access 
to nine stars and very easy to access to six stars so basically in this build rather than um you know spamming 100 eyes etc etc what you want to do is you want to spam these three create a mist swarm bounce everything to field uh use your infernity mirage again to bring out an, an a, 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 a like you know a beetle and like an arch fiend and you sink it for level six and you use it again and you bring out um just a beetle and arch fiend and you get like you know a burial whatever and that is like about eight thousand two hundred and you swing for game and if they were to like you know negate you you set one a barrier or one break or just a barrier and a break or two barriers and then you synchro the beetle with the six star that you created and you create a stardust so basically it is you go for game and if they have something to stop you then you synchro your way for more defense and next turn you bring out more stuff like another miss swarm and bounce everything and you try it again so um that's the point of the deck and it's it's been rock and rowing yeah you guys that's it that's uh slim fernity good little creative name uh, i do not you know of course take credit for it uh just a little thing on that um when it comes to deck ideas give credit where credit is due that's uh just something that uh, as just uh, players in this game that you know re uh, legitly care about this game and you know uh, play it for fun, play it for you know there's there's money to be made. There's a lot of other things, but uh, if you're gonna be one of those people that you know you go and you cash out like a moron and you get all these cards trying to copy something that someone came up with and then you know trying to pass it off as your own idea that you're their creator, you're not the creator. You're you know you're just you're basically I have to say you're just a douchebag because uh, you know you're full you're full of yourself. You think you think you're so great and then you lose and you wonder why. The reason is. No amount of money or no amount of cardboard can make up for real skill. And that's something that I believe in, and I know pretty much any player out there can say. And, um, yeah, that, that's just something I just th thought need, needed to be said, that people know me when I make videos. I, I put random stuff out there. Like, I'm a really random type of person. I, I like to, you know, state facts because, you know, no one wants to live through lies. So uh, that's the deck, you guys. Uh, you want to build it? You know. Go ahead. It's it's a wonderful deck. I have a lot of fun with it, and uh, I'm gonna keep running it and see what happens. So, here you guys. Uh, keep subscribing. Uh, shout out K Star Midnight. What's up, man? Uh, Gotta shout you out. Multi Source again. Always shining out. And uh, anyone else? Meet you. Subscribe and have fun, you guys. Peace out, guys.